I'm gonna go over how to make jump function work in top-down view. You can use the orthographic camera for this as well. But yeah, let's let's just jump right in. You want to go to your inputs, and then you're gonna create a new input. Input action, I A jump, and then open up your IMC, and you're going to add a new mapping. And I'm just gonna bind it to my spacebar. That's the most common jump button. You can bind it to whatever you like. Um, just make sure you get to this drop down and you assign the jump function. That's it for that. Super easy. You can close it. So after that, what you're going to do is you're going to right click IA jump and you're just going to get the enhanced action events, the arrow IA jump. Perfect. Now that we start, we're going to create a lot of variables here in a moment, but go ahead and push B, left click, go from started, and then we are going to promote the condition to a variable, and we are going to name it is jumping. After you name it, drag it out and set is jumping, set it to false, and then set jumping to true. And then we're going to make a new variable. It's going to be called Z speed we're going to change it to a float and i'm going to go ahead and make all the variables that you need here so you don't have to jump around and make sure that you have all of them um, i'm just going to make them all in a row all at once so you'll need is jumping z speed and then you'll need jump speed and make sure that's a float too and the jump speed is how high you're going to jump so over on the right, let's compile and save. Over on the right, you see the jump speed and it's just going to be a float value. So let's start off at 3.5 just for testing. You can change it at any time, but I'll show you how it works once we get it all figured out. Um, go ahead and go to your Z speed. Make sure it's at zero. Go to your is jumping. Make sure it's false. And then so your, S speed, your Z speed, that's supposed to be zero. Jump speed, 3.5 so far. That number can change though. So after jump speed, you're just going to create another variable and you're going to call it Z value. And then after that, you're going to create another variable and you're going to call it Z ground. And then one more variable called Z gravity. And then one more variable, last one, I promise, flip book transform. And then it's going to be a vector. So compile and save. There you go. Those are all of the variables you need for this code. So first thing, we're going to pull out the Z speed. We're going to set, connect it, bring out your jump speed, get jump speed, connect it here. After that, your Z value, and you're going to set it. Your Z value again, get, and then add, and then grab your Z speed, get it connect the two here and then connect it to your z value so it adds your speed and the value together really quick for your gravity go ahead and change it to negative 0.1 compile and save so grab your z value again set it push b and click for branch or you could search branch either way and then you're going to grab your z value again get it and then you're going to get your z ground and then greater plug that into your branch plug z value here and here compile and save create another branch plug it into true and then go to your false set is jumping and then make sure that stays on false so unchecked and then go to set z value and then grab your z ground get it plug it in set z speed and then set z gravity negative 0.1 on the z gravity that's all you have to do for the false under the branch go to z speed get it greater than plug it in and then make this float a negative five Go ahead and make get delta drag out from true. Set z speed from here. Hit an add. 
z speed, get a multiply, get delta world seconds, get world delta seconds, sorry, return value, plug it into the top, and then from the bottom, just grab your get z gravity, and make sure you grab this one. Cool. Compile. Almost done, guys. Promise. We're getting there. After your Z speed, set Z gravity and then bring out the bottom and type in clamp. Float. Bring it out. Add Z gravity. And then control D to duplicate. Make your minimum negative 50 and your maximum a bunch of nines. Set Z value, Z value. Make another clamp. Float. Add Z value, Z speed. Have the minimum zero, maximum four nines. After the set, do you set relative location? Um, go ahead and grab your flipbook sprite, pull it out, bring it out, do set relative location, bring it up, connect the two, split struct pen, break vector, and then you're going to grab your flipbook transform and get it and plug it into the vector, and then for the Y, pull it out, do minus, bring it into your Y location, grab your Z, and then you're going to add, plug it into your new location, and then you're going to multiply. All right, you're going to grab your Z value again, get it, put it to the top, and then you're going to plug this in to the bottom slot here, and I can, on the subtract. Just gonna clean up the code just a little bit. Sweet. So it'll look like this when it's all done. Compile and save. Hit a delay. I'm gonna do like 0 0.01. Compile and save. So now from the false, you're going to plug it in. So grab off of your set, bring it all the way back here, plug it into the false. And you can double click a line and it'll create a little node for you. So it's easier to manage. And then Q to straighten up your code. Sweet. Compile and save. And then we are going to go to the delay and bring it all the way back to your first branch. Perfect. So we're going to grab this. We can straighten up the code a little bit just so it's a bit easier to see what's going on. Sweet. Straighten up. Compile and save. Now you can jump. Let's go. One extra thing you could do is you can grab... I'm just going to grab something quick, but you can add a flipbook. I'm going to call it shadow and rotation, make it 270 degrees. Bring it in here. Right click, sprite actions, apply paper 2D settings, extract sprites, extract. We don't have to do any grid or anything like that. Create flipbook, FB, shadow. Nice. So we have it. So let's go ahead and bring in our shadow. Four, four, four. Just make sure it's below your player sprite. So now you can kind of see it below. And when you jump, you have a shadow. You can add animations to your shadow and make it as in-depth as you like, but this is just an example to show that you are actually jumping. By the way, this... Uh, let me make sure that the camera... Okay, it's perspective, but I'll show you in orthographic real quick how it looks. This is how it looks. Good job, guys. Make sure to join my Discord if you have questions or if you just want to hang out with the community. This was actually recommended by someone in the Discord, so if you have any questions about anything, just let me know. Thank you so much. Peace, peace.